Here's another exclusive clip from Wrestling Reality with Justin Labar, brought to you by Gladiators of the Cage. I'll tell you what, the Dudley boys, they haven't been in WWE in 10 years, and all of a sudden it looks like they're going to be like number one contenders for the tag titles. And Sting, he's 0-1 in his WWE career, and all of a sudden he's going to fight for the world title. What is going on? Monday Night Raw, it had the exact feel. We knew it would. We, we You had to know that they were doing Raw just like they do the night after Mania. Same raucous crowd, same building. It lived up to the hype. Makes you wonder why they can't do that every single week. I mean, do we just need to do a show in front of a New York crowd every two or three months to keep it re-energized? I kind of thought Sting would appear. There's a lot of rumors that he was going to be there Monday night. And then, of course, when you have the uh, – we're going to do the unveiling of the Seth Rollins statue. It was a good unveil. Ironic because Sunday night SummerSlam, as I talked about in my column, my Monday column for the trip, Sunday they built, 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 built great energy, and all of a sudden, boom, popped the balloon. They popped it with the freaky finish of Brock and Undertaker, which we'll talk about uh, in a bit. Monday it continued to build, continued to build, continued to build. There was no popping. It ended with balloons floating off in the air, a lot of happiness, a lot of excitement. I do not expect Sting to have a WWE run as champion. If he wins it, Money in the Bank cashing in would be the only other thing that would then make a great sense. If everybody goes crazy because Sting beats Seth Rollins, Sting's world champion, oh my God, and then here comes here comes the, the rugged Irishman, Sheamus. That being said, WWE right now might be, I mean, everything is on all is rolling on all cylinders with a lot of excitement. Again, it makes you wonder why, what, what is it that puts them in the mindset of we got to do this now and not, and not try to put the best foot forward every week. Every week can't be jam-packed with returns and surprises. I get that, but right now it feels like Everything has got interest. Everything, I mean, the, 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 the stars are all coming out to play. It is a very exciting time for WWE. It's a very exciting time for WWE talk shows. So we're going to take a quick, quick timeout, reset, and then we'll get into the rest of the weekend, which uh, I don't even know where to begin. So well, give me a minute to think about it.